Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Local Level Duelist. I've created this channel as a record mainly for myself to keep track of decks and things that I've played at my locals. I like to experiment with different ideas, try out different strategies and take them to locals and see how they go. So I'm creating this channel just to keep track of my deck ideas, mostly for my sake, but I thought I would post them as well just because I could share them. So the deck that I'm going to be taking for this first upload on my channel is a Time Thief Raid Raptor deck that has been made possible with the release of Phantom Rage. So without any further ado, we'll just get straight into it. Starting off with the Time Thief Monsters, we've got three Time, Le Time Thief Winder, three Time Thief Regulator, and two Time Thief Bezel Ship. Now, Regulator is a one card combo, which is awesome, and Winder makes a great extender once you've already made a little bit of a board commitment with an XC's monster. Bezel Ship is a bit of a brick to draw, but if you have an extender, you can always normal summon it. So in this deck, you get your combo mainly just from a rank four, so any normal summon and an extender will get you there. Going into the Raid Raptors, we've got three Raiders Wing, three Strangle Lanius, three Pain Lanius, two Mimicry Lanius, and one Singing Lanius. Uh, it's all fairly self explanatory. They all mostly summon themselves from the hand, uh, with Strangle Lanius being the best one. Going to other monsters that we're playing in the deck, we're playing three Parallel Exceed. Good being able to chain block the wire strix from an ash to rocket tracer to rocket recharger one zephyros and one silent boots so the rockets are in there because quick launch is also a one card combo uh, using boot sector launch and strike a dragon to get into a rank four through tracer and recharger The hand traps, three Nibiru, three Ash, three Gamma and Driver, and the three Imperm. So my locals is very uh, diverse. There's some meta players as well as some casual players. So this just covers everything in a, a general kind of sense. Going into the spells. Three Quick Launch, two of the Rank Up Magic Force, one Rank Up Magic Launch, one Soul Shave Force, one Raid Raptor Nest, one Boot Sector Launch, one Magical Midbreaker Field, one Monster Reborn, one Call by the Grave, one Foolish Burial. Uh, these three on the end are pretty self explanatory, they're just good cards. Magical Breaker Field is good for protecting from targeting effects like Imperm and Veiler. Boot Sector Launch because of Striker Dragon. Raid Raptor Nest is handy for searching an extender. The Rank Ups are all fairly self-explanatory. And Quick Launch being the one card combo. Without the normal summon. The Traps. Got Triple Shade Brigandine. Another extender. One... Phantom Knight's Claw, the counter trap, and one Time Thief Retrograde, which is a good way of dodging Dark Ruler no more, and negating Dark Ruler no more. The extra deck that I'm going to be taking is one Ultimate Falcon, one Arsenal Falcon, two Force Strix, they're a pretty standard Raid Raptor lineup, one Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon with one Raider's Knight, for going second, a Time Thief Redoer to work with the Counter Trap and some of the Time Thief cards, a Divine Arsenal Sky Thunder, I'm just testing this out to see how it goes, though it's one of the flex spots, Gaga Gaga Magician and Kali Yuga for the main combo, which essentially just skips your opponent's turns, so that's what we're going for game one, and a Cyber Dragon Infinity for the Soul Show Force. And then lastly for the Link Monsters, Two Wire Strix, one Rusty, and one 
strike a dragon. Fairly straightforward. I'll quickly show you the side deck that I'm taking on Wednesday night. I mostly keep it pretty similar week to week, but there's a few spots that change based on the deck I'm playing or decks that I might potentially be expecting to see on a given Wednesday. So this time I'm going to be taking Droll and Lock, Lancia, Twin Twisters, Dark Ruler, and Evenly Matched. Now these nine are typically always in my side deck, regardless of the deck that I'm playing. And these six spots are changeable based on the deck I'm playing or projected decks that I'm expecting. Droll in particular is going to be useful against Heralds, which are quite common at my locals, as well as potentially even Drytrons if anyone's experimenting with them this Wednesday coming up. And Lancia is useful against Phantom Knights. Uh, it can be useful against Dragons and Orcists if anyone is playing them this Wednesday. But that's the side deck that I'm taking this Wednesday. Other things I usually include are Solemn Judgment and other hand traps depending on if my deck already has hand traps in it. One thing I did mention before is that I'm playing a 60 card list with my Time Thief Raid Raptors because it's mostly one card or two card combos, meaning the other cards in my hand can be extenders or hand traps and it just gives me a little bit more variance with what I can draw. To give you an idea of what this deck can do, I've just drawn up a test hand. We've got a Zephyrus, Parallel Exceed, the Rank Up Magic Launch, Shea Brigandine, and a Time Thief Winder. And so what we'll do is we'll play this hand out and see what we can do. To start off with, in this hand the best normal summon is the Zephyrus. We've got the Extender with Shea Brigandine which gets us into a rank 4, and the Time Thief Winder we can use as an additional extender once we've made our four Strix. So we'll normal summon the Zephyrus, we'll set the Shame Bringer Dean, activating it, overlay these for the wire strix, uh, four Strix, detach the Zephyrus because it's more useful in the graveyard to search out Singing Lanius. Can now use the winder in the hand, so detaching the brigandine to summon out the winder, who's going to get its effect as well to search. We'll search the retrograde. With this hand we should be able to easily do our full combo plus get the retrograde set with the uh, redoer on the field. We'll summon out the singing lanius because we control an Xyz monster and we'll use our two winged beasts to link into the wise strix. Now Wise Strix is going to summon as Chainlink 1, activating its effect, and Parallel Exit will be Chainlink 2. So it will summon, Wise Strix will summon. Because we already have the Zephyrus in Grave, we don't need to summon the Zephyrus, and in this case we can actually summon the Mimic Rylanius, which is very handy for its Graveyard effect. Now the Parallel Exceed will activate, and we can summon another Parallel Exceed. Now, depending on your build at this point, you could make a Trap Strix with Rafflesia and be a little bit more hand trap proof. Um, I've opted not to run it this time around, just in favor of the Kali Yuga and the Gaga Gar Gar Magician, as well as the Zeus. But it's an option that you could definitely run. I'm going to overlay Mimicrylanius and the Winder for our second Four Strix. Detaching the Miraculanius, it's better in the graveyard. And this time we're going to search a Strangolanius. To clear up our board a little bit. Might overlay these now. Into a redoer. Ah, sorry, before we do that, we have to use the Wire Strix. I forget that every time. So Wire Strix effect is going to set the Soul Shave Force. Keep in mind that if you've gone into your combo using Quick Launch, you would get the Force here. 
because you're locked into dark monsters after using Rocket Tracer. But we're not locked into anything at the moment, so we can use Soul Shave Force, activating the Soul Shave Force to revive the Force Strict from the graveyard and rank it up into an Infinity. So now we are Nibiru proof and we can now turn our Parallel Exceeds into a Redoer just so that we've got it. From here we can summon out the Strangle Lanius because we control a Dark Monster. We're now, well, we're now locked into Darks. We're going to bounce the Strangle Lanius using Zephyros. We'll take 400 life points and we're going to link our Wystrix and Zephyros into Rusty. Rusty's effect is going to send the Silent Boots. And he's going to set to the field the... Oh, sorry, we already have the launch. So in this case, we can actually set to the field the Claw. because we'll get the rank up off the Silent Boots, so we only need one of the rank ups, so we'll banish the Silent Boots, search the new rank up, the Force, and we can activate the Force now. We're going to rank up our four Strix, so we're going to banish three Dark Monsters, so we'll go one, two, three, not going to use the Miracle Lanius yet because we might need it a little bit later. So we're going to rank up our four streaks here into Arsenal Falcon. We'll use the Arsenal Falcon's effect, detaching the Winder to special summon a uh, level four Winged Beast right from the deck. Now we're actually going to summon our second copy of Strangle Lanius so that we get access to its effect. This is why we've left the Mimicrylanius in the graveyard because we'll need it now to use off Strangle. So Strangolanius is going to revive the Mimicrylanius because we control Arsenal Falcon which has a Dark Exceeds Monster as material. And from here we can overlay these two into this zone specifically because we're going to use Rusty's effect. And we're going to make our Gaga Gaga Magician. It's going to use Rusty to pop Arsenal Falcon. Arsenal Falcon's effect in the graveyard can summon out any Raid, Raptor, Exceeds monster from an extra deck. And then we're going to attach the Arsenal Falcon as material. So Arsenal Falcon's going to equip itself to Ultimate Falcon. There we go. We're going to use Ultimate Falcon now, detaching Arsenal Falcon for the rest of this turn. Our opponent cannot activate any cards or effects, although at this point they would have already activated anything they could have. So it's not really that relevant, but what's important is putting Arsenal Falcon back into the graveyard to revive it with our Gar 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 Magician. So we're going to detach the Mimicry Lanius here in order to summon back Arsenal Falcon to the field. Just checking position, special summon it negating its effects, which is fine. And from here, we can set our Rank Up Magic Launch, our Time Thief Retrograde, and we can banish the Mimicry Lanius to add a Raid Raptor card to our hand. Now what we can do here is we'll add the Raid Raptor Nest and activate it and use it to search another monster for next turn. So we might even grab the next, the other Miracolanius so that we've got some follow up for next turn should we need it. So ending our turn one board here, we've got Miracolanius and Strangolanius in hand which is going to give us some great follow-up. We have a Spell Trap Negate. We have a Monster Negate. And we have the Rank Up Magic Launch. So as soon as our opponent activates an effect, we're safe from anything with our Infinity. It can block uh, any kind of effect, like a Twin Twisters or a Cosmic Cyclone that might be trying to target one of our Spells or Traps. We've also got the two Negates here, which is handy. And then our Rank Up Magic Launch is going to turn Arsenal Falcon into a... Kaliuga, which is going to negate their whole field and any other cards they activate on the field, which would effectively shut off their turn. 
and there we go that's a example of what this deck can do it's very very explosive but there we have it that's the deck that i'll be taking this wednesday and i'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out thank you for watching